Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at one of our 20-foot containers. This particular unit uh, holds 600 S9s. You could also put 300 of the double-wide units uh, into this container. Uh, Nameplate capacity is 1.3 megawatts before the derating. Uh, it's powered by a 415 Y240 circuit uh, with an 1800 amp feed. So let's get right into the container. So this is the unit. Again, it's getting ready for shipping right now. Um, as you can see from the inside here, we have built-in PDUs built into the racks. Uh, all CSA and UL, ULC, UL, US approved breakers. Uh, one thing you'll notice that's different about our design is there are no power cable outlets. So we can go directly to your C13. Uh, so your miner can just sit in the shelf, be plugged right in with no power cables. Our new PDU designs are actually going to have a C19 outlet uh, with a UL approved splitter that allows you to break that into two separate C13 outlets as well. Uh, at the top of the container, you can see here all of our network gear, all network cabling is in the racks. It is all pre-labeled on both ends so you know exactly which cable goes to which miner. It really makes the point easy. Uh, we could also add a layer three switches if our client desires that. Uh, this side that I'm shooting from here, although it's wide open, our awning based intakes go here. So they bolt on in the field which hold your filters and give you a surface area that's almost double the size of the container itself in terms of the intake area, preventing water penetration and increasing the overall throughput uh, of airflow. On the back plate here, now these have not been bent back, but uh, these flaps here get bent back in the field and depending on what kind of miner you're using, these flaps can be bent back to conform to different power supplies such as uh, the M10S or the M20S which has a uh, circular port in the back of the power supply whereas an S9 you're not going to want that to be open. I'm going to show you here around on the other side what that looks like. This is our hot side. We have three frames that bolt on to the outside here and six fans totaling 164,000 CFM to pull that hot air out. So in the field, we simply, oops, come the wrong one, get bent back, and like so, and that helps to deflect and shape the hot air out into this area. These twist locks are 220 twist lock power cords, uh, which feed your fans. One other thing you'll notice is that we have our main connection for the container itself uh, coming out of the top of the splitters. But over here, we have our auxiliary panels. This auxiliary panel feeds our lights as well as our fans. It's set up like that so that you can run a separate service if you want to uh, without having to run it off your main. And if you lost for some reason your main feed, you can be running a backup generator or something like that on the rest of your supply setup. Um, the container ships, as you can see, not as a wide load, so it's a standard width container. Uh, it weighs approximately 8,000 pounds when it ships. And one important thing, unlike many other containers in the market, you'll see here on our nameplate, we have a UL approval and inspection on every container that leaves our shop. If you have any questions, hit us up on our website www.digitalshovel.com or you can email me at the email below in the bottom of this video. Have a great day.